Howdy folks, this is Justro at Metcalf Mills. I had a little something I wanted to share with you. The tater tarian wanted to share how some of the taters are doing. Folks, I didn't plan on making a video, but I wanted to share something with you here. I'm down here in the tater patch where I planted three or four different kinds of taters and I just wanted to share with you how they're doing. I was really surprised at these red ones. I never do grow red ones. We always grow just plain orange taters, Kenny Beck. And we grow these red Pontiacs up here. And them son of a guns is growing like crazy. Now the way with the tater patch, it always gets weedy this time of year because the vines grow up and they flop over and I go through here with the weed eater before they do that. But you can't do but so much. And when the vines dies down, then you can mow it down, bush hog it or whatever. But it's just the way the tater patch is, it gets weedy like that unless you got a real weed free piece of ground and this ain't it. So I wanted to show you here. If you watch the video of us planting these taters, I'll try to or I will include that in the down in the description of this video. But I wanted to show you a little update of how these things are doing. Now right here, what I'm going to show you is one heel of these taters. This is just one heel. I wanted to show you how good they done. Right here's this one heel that I've dug right here. Look, off of one heel, just one heel of taters, that's what we got. So... We've got two full rows here that go all the way out, all the way out to the other end. So, and then we got Kenny Bucks next here, and then some, I think Yukon Golds, and then some more, a different kind of dark reds down on the other side. But it's just crazy how good these done. I, I knew this would be a good tater patch, and it is, and we got them. So we're going to have them for supper tonight with some soup beans and cornbread and Midland meat. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Mountain living right here. Look here, I just grabbed a hold of this vine and pulled it out of the ground and look. And look, they're still trying to make taters. Look, covered up in babies. There's another one. Look at that. Goodness gracious, look at there. Look at there. Beautiful. Virginia was doing something. I told her I'd run down here and get them. She didn't have to go with me. She's really excited about these reds because we ain't ever growed these before. And she's really excited about them. And them little ones like that. I throw them right in the pot. I mean, people say you're crazy fooling them little things. No, I ain't crazy. I'm just... I'm a tater tarian, what I am. Now, let's see. Move on down here. I'm going to show you this here. Dig one more hill up, and then I'll get on back to the house. But look now. See if this does like that last one did. Let's see here. Back this up a little bit. Get a hold of these vines. Look at there. Look at that. Look what a tater. I was kind of waiting around on these. I didn't know how big it was. I hadn't kept a close watch on them. By golly, they've got huge. Look. Golly. This right here, as far as I'm concerned, this is a good ratio in a tater tarian's opinion because you've got a good ratio of big taters to little taters 
you know you got these big ones that you can use one way and then you got these little ones to boil or roast or whatever it's just a good a good ratio little taters to big i tell you i am tickled with these babies real tickled with them can't wait to show virginia what we got she's gonna now there's three hills of taters Three hills has made a dad gym bucket full. Boy, I wish mother could see this. She'd tickle her to death. Yeah, we... Us mountain people, we get excited about little things like that. Because you know why? Cause that's the real stuff that's why look at that nearly a whole bucket bucket full out of three hills didn't even need nothing to dig them with in this soft dirt down here man i guess we can check on the Kenny Beck, since we're out here, I don't know if they done as good or not. The dad Jim Deer has been coming in here mowing them off, so I don't know how they've done. Dig a hill of them and see how they look here. I've got plenty more down to other place, but I planted these here to see how they'd do. Not bad. Some mole holes in here. Don't looks like they bothered nothing though. I don't see nothing to eat on. Look at that down in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh mama. Sign that right there, make a tater terry and jump for joy. Mmm. We might as well just move on down one more hill just to make sure that we just didn't get a super hill here. Let's just come down here, make sure things are progressing right on down like we think they should. And these taters here, I didn't, you know, I didn't overly cultivate these things. I think, if I remember right, I cultivated them twice. Twice is all. So, you know it. Very little maintenance on these taters. That's another hill. Not the bit, bit not as big a ones in here, but. Still, I mean, look at that. That ain't nothing to. That ain't nothing to get hungry about. Look at that. I mean, it is something to get hungry about, but it won't make you hungry when they're growing like that, cause you got something to put in there. Let me go get the bucket. I I know it's gonna be topped off now. Mm. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Ooh, man, them's just right. There you go. Whole bucket full off of one, two, three, four, five hills. Five hills. Penny, look here what we got, girl. Look you here. Does that make you happy? You like them taters? You like them taters? Huh? You like them? I have to tie her when I come down here because if I don't, she'll try to run off. Not run off. She goes and hunts. That's just her nature. She likes to hunt. 
and I don't want to have to sit and wait 30 minutes on her to come back. Don't know what she might get into, nothing like that, so I tire. All right, girl, let's load up here. Let's load up, you ready? Go back to the house and get supper finished. Ain't I wanting to turn you loose, is it, girl? There you go. There you go. All right, girl. You ready? Ready to go? Folks, I'm sure glad you has got to go with me to dig taters. We eat them for supper, and oh boy, they was so, so good. I really enjoyed having you along. Like this video if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you ain't already. Tell your friends about me if you can dig some taters or go find you some from somebody that growed them. Because I tell you what, they ain't much better than a tater, especially to me. But you know I'm a tater-tarian. Look forward to seeing you next time.